we could talk for days about the importance of physical activity for youth. We're going to dive into this. If you are a parent, if you are a coach, please take the time to just watch this. If you are an adult who still believes it is unsafe for youth to follow a strength training program, hopefully this will squash those myths. There is so much to talk about with this research. Early exposure to strength building activities is needed to prepare today's youth for ongoing participation in varied physical activity. With today's youth being weaker than previous generations, we should be doing all we can to promote exercise, strength training, physical activity. So this part is important. Force production and force reduction. If you can't control force, you play less. Weaker youth means less play, less daily movement, more limitations, more injuries. That also applies to the athlete. If your child is playing a sport, especially a female, which tends to quit sport at approximately puberty, we need to keep females playing. All of that applies. The weaker they are, the more limitations, the more injuries. Parents will spend countless dollars on skill camps, on equipment, but they don't put the same appreciation into how to improve the movement potential for that youth athlete away from the sport. Are they able to become stronger? Are they able to improve coordination, be able to control their limbs? The athlete needs to be able to control force create force, manage that force in their sporting environment faster. The qualities that can be improved by your off ice, your off court, your off field training. Not only is this a way to mitigate injuries and keep our youth active for life, what we do in our youth impacts muscle and bone density as adults. Pause to read the next few slides. Very important information. And let's talk about this enjoyable strength building activities. This is where I'm going to ruffle some feathers, but I do not care. If you are an adult, if you are a coach, and your belief is that those athletic youth should be involved in some kind of off ice, off court, off field training, strength training, or performance training, if it should be so hard, it's not brutally hard, it's not doing anything, or if you're using it as punishment, you know, if your team screws up, so you're giving them endless push-ups, you are creating a mindset of complete disrespect for the amazing benefit of what proper strength training, proper exercise can be for that athletic youth. It's not about boot camps. It's not about making these workouts as hard as possible. It's about creating a foundation of proper movement. It is about creating long-term development, but creating a love for getting strong, especially for females. Now, don't come at me. Don't get me wrong. Yes, youth needs to do hard things, but it's th this isn't about creating the soft and fluffy. Everybody gets a participation ribbon. That's not what I'm saying. But understanding the why, creating respect for strength and conditioning at a younger age. It should be shocking to read here that the decline in moderate to vigorous physical activity begins to emerge during the primary school years by the age of seven. Interventions need to happen and they need to happen early. Without such interventions, youth with strength deficits may be limited in their ability to generate force and explore context-specific solutions to exercise and sport-related challenges. So again, I go back to the fact of youth not being able to create force to manage force in their sporting environment. An example, being able to decelerate, being able to stop. If you want to be faster on the ice, for example, you got to be able to stop. You got to be able to change directions quick. And if you can't stop better, if you can't decelerate, for a lot of females, that plays a role in injuries, in ACL injuries. We have to get our kids stronger. When you are improving your capabilities off your ice field in court, Oh my gosh, that plays such a big role in your sport performance. And again, parents, coaches, so many individuals do not respect that. They do not appreciate it. These strength reserves can help overcome unpredictable stressors on the sports field or ice or court. But let me remind you, if you're an adult who thinks no strength training is unsafe, do you understand that there's actually more stress, more force going through that athletic body when they are playing their sport, then in a controlled strength training environment. 
the ability to stop, to decelerate on the ice, on the field, on the court, that has much higher force than if you were teaching that youth athlete how to squat properly. Young athletes who continue to participate in more advanced resistance exercise programs and gradually develop their physical capabilities can dramatically improve their ability to produce force, reduce force, and tolerate the workload demands of sports, practice, and competition. Force! It's about the force! And a red flag that we see constantly when we train youth is so many youth nowadays don't even know how to run. They can't sprint. They can't control their own limbs. So then you get them in a sporting environment, you're asking them to manage force, to create force, be faster, be more powerful, be able to stop faster, but they can't even run properly. This is all great information, so pause to read. Improving fundamental skills helps us in adulthood. Movement is medicine, exercise is medicine. Getting our youth stronger at a younger age keeps them in sport. It's a way to mitigate the risk of non-contact injuries, such as ACL injuries, especially in females. Being proficient in movement skills requires strength. You can pause to read here, the goal of the iceberg of physical development is to stay above the waterline. And I need to highlight that there's many adults that lose that fundamental movement skill, such as jumping, throwing, kicking, sprinting, these basic skills should be taught to youth and adults need to maintain the same level. Youth are not just mini adults. There is so much learning potential at a young age. As adults, we have to encourage it because what they do in their youth sets them up for the rest of their life. Pause to read and get strong.